Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, explain how will you get the size and options from a drop-down field in selenium. Let me answer. In selenium web driver, we have a predefined class known as select class. And by using its predefined method, okay, of the select class that is get options command or method, we can find out the size of the drop-down list. That is how many options are there in this drop-down list. We can find out with the help of this command. Okay, not directly, but there is a way. First, we have to use get options. And after that, we can get the size. I'll tell you how. Okay. And also we can fetch the options. Okay. So each and every option has some label text, right? That we can retrieve by using the get text command. Okay. With the help of get text command, we can retrieve the options returned by this get options. Okay. Whatever the options that are written by this get options, we can use get text command to get the text of these options in the drop down list. Okay. Let me practically demonstrate this for you so that you'll understand how to use these commands uh, to get the size of this drop down field and to get the options and their text in the drop down field. Okay. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample Selenium automation code, which is already written for opening the Chrome browser, maximizing the browser window. And here we need to open the application URL. So let's say we will open this application URL, omai.blogspot.com URL. Copy this URL and paste it here. Okay. Once you open this application URL, once you open this application URL, here there is a drop down field. Okay. I would like to find how many options are there in this drop down field first. One, two, three, four, five. Total five options. How to get the size of this uh, drop down field? That is how many options are there in the drop down field. For that, first we have to create an object for the select class. Select, select is called new select. And to this, and first forward this mouse on select and import this uh, select class from Selenium library. After that, the select constructor cannot be empty. To this, we have to pass the drop down field for which you want to find out the size. So right click on the drop down field, inspect the HTML code for this drop down field will be displayed here. It has an ID, copy this ID of the drop down field and create a web element here for the drop down field. Private dot find element by dot ID, give the ID locator of the drop down field. And here I'll say field is equal to or drop down field is equal to whatever you want to write the name. And over the mouse, the return type of the find element is web element that will appear here when I say create local variable. Okay, we got the return type of the find element as a declaration for this field. Now copy this field and paste it here. Okay, this is the drop down field we are pasting into the select class constructor. Now using this object reference, we can call the command that is get options command. Okay, so the select predefined class has a command known as get options. Okay, so this will retrieve all the options in the form of web elements or the most you see a list of web elements it is returning. So these are the options. Okay, what are the different options? In the form of web element, list of web elements, they will be coming. The return type of this get options is list of web elements. Great. Now, how to find the size of this uh, size of this drop down field? That is how many options are there? Since it is a list, since it is a list, we can easily find it out. System dot out dot print DLM options dot size command. That's it. Okay. The list list interface in Java has a predefined method known as size command using which we can find how many options are there. After that, I'll simply quit the browser. So run the script and observe that total five should be printed. Number five should be printed because there are five options in this drop down field with the help of this options dot size. With the help of get options and the returned options with the dot size, we can find out how many options are there. Five should be printed in the output console. You see five got printed in the output console. So it's working fine. Okay. So it's working. Fine. What else? So what is the next question? Explain how we will get the size of the drop down field. How many options are there in the drop down field? We have found it out with the help of get options and the size command from the list. Okay. Interface with the select uh, predefined class. It's a uh, command get options and the size from the list. We have done that. Now I would like to print the text label text of these options in the drop down field. Total five options are there, right? Like older newsletter, doc one, doc two, doc three, all these options text I would like to print. So apart from the size, I would like to print the, okay. I would like to print the options text. Okay. So I'll just uh, give a separation here so that uh, we can see some differentiation between this output that is size of the, how many options are there followed by options in the text format. Okay. So I will create a for loop for each loop. Otherwise for each and every option is a web element here. So I'll say web element 
I'll just say option colon options. This list is nothing but options. For each and every option in these options, I'll iterate this. And here I'll simply say system dot out dot twenty other. This option is a each and every option is a web element. So I'll say option dot get text command. Okay. This will retrieve the text between the tags. If you see the HTML code here, here this is each and everything is an option in between the text. Some text between the tags is there. To retrieve the text, we have to use dot get text command. Now run this code and see that this time we'll also get the options printed in the options and the uh, options text uh, will be printed in the output console. You see options text got printed in the output console order newsletter doc one doc two doc three doc one. Okay, apart from this, we got this got printed in the output console. So hope guys you got the answer for this question. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.